Hi everyone, I'm Sindre9, welcome back to Let's Play Bread the Fire 3. So I got the brick in the right place. <laughs> the there's a path to the far right you can take. And I'll show you when I get rid of the tricker. And then you just push the blocks around and you're there. There we go. Over here? See, there's this path you can take. That'll let you go around, and then you push the block, and now we have our little path. See? Easy enough, and that should be the end of the dungeon. I'm sorry. Please allow Ryu and I to go on ahead alone. Hmm? It's fine. This is super secret stuff. So. Guardian Gast. Or Guardian Gaius. 234. Is that how old he is? You know, that's, uh... That's pretty interesting. Guardian Gaul, 198. Hmm. Not as much. Guardian Gar, 299. Oh, wow, you're, like, really old. Recorded on these stone tablets are the names of us guardians. Yeah, I got that. That's really cool. Otherwise known as Dragon Slayers. Wait, what? Yeah, I'd start panicking, Reem. The number below my name is the number of dragons I killed in the war. And as you saw, Gar had the highest number. Let me tell you what happened to your people. What happened to the brood. Nearly 400 years ago, the savage and malevolent brood attempted to conquer the world, igniting a fierce war. The brood were strong and awesome. We, the people of Urken, beseeched our god for protection from their great evil. Our god bestowed upon us guardians her holy might in order to fight the brood. After a mighty struggle, the last of the brood were defeated and their bones laid here. Ryu, you are the last of the brood. Once you're dealt with, my purpose shall be complete. Prepare yourself, Ryu. Ryu versus Gar. Well, if he wants to fight a dragon, then let's have him fight a dragon. <laughs> Trigon. Come on, you want to fight a dragon? Pyrokinesis! Nope! Frost Breath! We just can't have Ryu, you know, go down like that. Fire Blast! Nope! And we'll just attack. 
Uh, this is not a hard fight, if you can tell. This is for story purposes. So yeah, Gar killed 299 dragons. Not exactly happy with that. Won a great victory. 400 EXP for Ryu. No money. <sighs> Just as I suspected. We were no match for the true power of the brood. But why? Oh, it's another one of those dragon spirits. What? Why don't you finish me off? No. That's... Yeah, no. He is not your enemy. We weren't going to anyway. Oh, that's really fancy looking. Kaiser. Dragon. Why do you run? <laughs> We're not like them. We're not supposed to be with them. Flame breath. Ah! And the little whelpling gets knocked out. However, Ryu, do you recognize me? Yes, the person that killed a whole bunch of my clan and tried to kill me. I've been looking for you for years. Ever since you vanished from Angel Tower. Then, I heard stories of a dragon appearing in an old mine. Ryu. This is your... Ryu. Can you forgive me? Well, being the heroic type and all, yes. I've killed many of your people. Many dragons. I thought that was my purpose, but... Anyway. Let's get you out of here first, eh? So even Gar is starting to, you know, wonder why things went the way they did. He's now seen the power of a dragon, which means they were weakened during the war somehow? Maybe the dragon clan wasn't completely evil. 
Asgar has pondered this for the past roughly, as we'll find out, 10 years, I believe is the timeline. Um, as you can see, Ryu is grown up, and Gar's really been uh, pondering a lot. Here's your gear. If you want to hear what I have to say, come with me. I shouldn't stay here very long. There we go, and I love the way Ryu looks, with like the, uh, the vest. So this is Ryu, you have the same equipment as you did before, so don't worry about that. So we have a Claymore, Mithril Shield, Mithril Helmet, Magma Armor, our, uh, Talisman, and Bat Amulet. However, our little baby dragon has grown, has grown up. He still has the same genes. And we'll follow Gar. And he still has the uh, swing motion, but as you can see, it looks uh, quite a bit different. <laughs> if you want to kill me, you have the power and probably the right to do so. But you didn't kill me, even even after I tried to kill you. Yeah, because I'm a good dragon. Just like the dragons 400 years ago. Ding, ding, ding! If the brood had fought back, it would have been us instead of them that turned into Chrism like this. But they didn't fight back. Why did they let us kill them? Why did God have us kill the brood? I may not have the right to say this, but I want to know the truth. That's why I ask you. I ask you to let me live until then. Of course. Thank you. Now, let's get out of this mine. Mm -hmm. So we have Gar back in our party. Same level, same equipment. Uh, same abilities, which I forgot to go over. Gar knows Fire Blast, which is a really powerful flame attack on our targets. But it's not really powerful for Gar. <laughs> he can cast it once, and his int is low, so it's not going to do a lot. Alright, um... Ooh, excuse me. Anything in here? No. See, are there any treasure chest? I don't think so. Not right now. We just uh, keep on walking. So, back where we started, which I really like that. As this is really a new beginning. And the story picks up even more now. Let's see, uh, this way? Here's an elevator. Basement 3, do you want to ride the lift? No. What's the other way? Want to make sure. There's no fights here. So, uh, not right now anyway. <laughs> Nothing here. I thought there were a few treasure chests here, though. Up here, maybe? Yeah! A magic shard? A life shard? And a vitamin. Cool, so free stuff. Including a couple of shards. All right, now let's ride the elevator. I don't think there's anything on basement two. 
so we'll just go to basement three or basement one and <laughs> we're on basement three. so this must be where you were born the strong brood aura must have called out to you and Ryu that's right I called out to you okay not creepy Uh, no, we don't want to ride the lift. I see free stuff. Inside here, we get light clothing. Sixteen defense, one weight. It really boosts Gar's agility. Go this way. I don't quite remember. <laughs> uh, over here, I guess. <laughs> You're the ones who came to get the dragon, right? Must have been hard work with all the other monsters around. Hi! All the miners tell me they got no money and can't buy nothing. How about you? You want something? Yeah, sure! Ow. Bye! He sells high boots, which give four defense or five defense. Also sells Titan Belt, which gives ten power. Taser, weather vane, dynamite. Ammonia, Nancia, I'll rebuy that. Uh, some healing herbs, buy that. Buy a couple of vitamins. Anything here? Hey, 200 zenny! Hmm. I feel like there's more stuff in there. Maybe we should. Whoa. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Controller just decided to die there. Okay, um... Yeah, because I don't even think we can leave. Yep. <laughs> Alright, back in we go. That just gets you out here where you can buy stuff. Alright, let's head to basement two then. So we'll just head all the way back to the elevator. Here. Let's ride the lift. Basement 2. I think basement 2 is actually where we where you go to continue the story. So I didn't remember that, right? <laughs> and here we actually fight monsters. And you didn't really get to see it there, but Ryu now confidently just draws the sword. He doesn't have any problem. Plus, he has, like, a cool breeze always going through his hair. <laughs> Signifying his hero status. <laughs> now, he still has access to his spells and everything, but Ryu looks different whenever he attacks. Watch. I mean, he has grown up now. Takes a stance. Fire breath! Which, thanks to the Abestus armor, won't do anything to Ryu. In fact, it'll heal Ryu. Or, not, sorry, not Abestus armor. Magma armor. Uh, Gar will take damage, however. <laughs> I think he does have some 
uh, innate flame resist, though. So he's not taking as much as he should. Alright, well, that was an annoying turn as all the flame slugs gl go. Glow. <laughs> I suppose they are glowing as well. Yeah, see, now you just thrust with the sword, which is pretty cool. But now I know what all of you want to see. You want to see Ryu transform into a dragon. Yes, it looks different, and it's really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and pick. I haven't shown off Miracle yet. I guess I can do that. Frost, Miracle, and Defender. Yes, really expensive. Or, no, no. I want Flame. Flame, Miracle, and Defender. Uh, Miracle's pretty expensive, but I'll show this off anyway. Yeah, Ryu just kind of tosses the sword away and then just charges up. I love it. It's really cool looking. And you kind of see, like, the aura charging. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> behemoth! Yes, and then you, he's like charging up. This is the Behemoth Dragon. It's really big! <laughs> As you see, it's only Ryu. Whenever you use the Miracle Gene and transform into the Behemoth, it takes up all the party members. Behemoth, however, has quite a bit of HP. As you can see, a lot of HP. Um, is slower, but I think has more defense. It'll especially have more defense with the Defender Gene. Comet. Meteor Strike. Damage altered by HP. Funny, that. <laughs> now, Blitz, we've seen, it halves the user's HP, but it attacks all enemies three times. Something I failed to mention about Blitz is it does damage based on how much HP you lost. <laughs> uh, charge, which the more defense you have, the more damage it does. And that's everything. Uh, we'll use Meteor Strike. Fire Breath. Laugh. How dare you. <laughs> yes, use Fire Breath. <laughs> and Meteor Strike. Yes, it summons a meteor. It's the breath weapon, you could say, for uh, for the Behemoth Dragon. Also, Ryu, uh, the sword just reappears, and then look at that battle. Look at that, you know, in battle pose. Good job, Ryu. So a very uh, fun. Uh, form it is expensive but as long as HP stays high you'll do a ton of damage <laughs> uh, inside here which is why I didn't mind just you know showing off everything you can rest you feel strong and refreshed after resting so no problem there Feel free, if you need to level up Gar, you can uh, level him up. Uh, it would help a lot if I had that fire ring. Should have taken it off, Nina. Oh, well. I don't think I have anything else nope, to give him fire resist. More fire resist than he already has. Do we want to save? Yes. So after we've done that, <laughs> uh, I think I'll make this episode a little short, and I'll fight a couple of times with Gar and get him a couple of levels. It'll help him out. There we go. And you can see the uh, picture for Ryu looks different as well. Which I really like. 
Uh, this was one of my favorite parts of this game was the transition from uh, kid to, uh, I guess you could say, adult Ryu, and just the the different animations. I'm like, wow! I, I'll never forget the first time. I was just blown away about how how cool it was to me. The whole, you know, throwing the sword and then seeing him really charge up now that he can, like, channel the power. Uh, his, uh, his dragon blood and the way he transforms now. It's just really cool. It's just really cool to me. Uh, back then and still is now. I still really like it. Hope you did too. Next time, we'll continue through the cave after I get Gar a couple of levels. And we'll see what awaits us here. And we'll see some more enemies. There are different enemies in here other than the uh, fire slugs. Until the next episode, I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.